Hey, good morning everyone. Today we are back at the Delaware Water Gap. I'm gonna be doing my first overnight hike. So today it's gonna be around 12 to 13 miles. We'll set up camp and then tomorrow we'll head back on the same exact trail. And we're pretty much gonna be on the Appalachian Trail the entire time. We're just gonna go in, set up camp for the night and then head back tomorrow. And along the way, we'll see what we pass. We are going to be following that white for the next two days. We're going to head this way and head to Sunfish Pond. And then from there, we're going to keep going up the Appalachian Trail all the way to the Fountain of Youth. So we are about two miles on the trail so far since we left the parking lot. This trail has been nothing but a gradual incline the entire time. And it's not stopping anytime soon. Still have about two miles roughly until we get to Sunfish Pond. So we are coming to a cool little section on the Appalachian Trail right here. All these cool little rock stacks. Rocky in this section. such a nice view such a great section of trail
It's like a boulder field here. Trying to navigate your way through all these rocks. We just hit an intersection. If you head and take that trail, it'll take you around Sunfish Pond. And if you head this way, that's continuing on the Appalachian Trail. And that's the way we're gonna be heading today. I just hit five miles. The trail leveled out for a little bit. For the most part, it's been rocky and uphill. I'm gonna try to do around 14 miles today and then 10 miles tomorrow. We're heading all the way down to the Fountain of Youth. We're gonna get some water and turn around and head back a little bit and camp for the night and then head back to the car tomorrow. So we are at about six miles. Just came to this really cool overlook. Figured I'd stop and take a little break for a minute. The view is great from out here. I've been in the woods for the last couple miles, so it's nice that it opens up a little bit. Back into the woods. About to hit the large pile of rocks. Step. Still hiking on the Appalachian. I'm at eight miles so far. Got about four more miles to go till the end. And then we're probably gonna come back another mile or two to camp tonight. The trail is finally starting to go down a little bit. It's been going up, I feel like, the last four hours.
about to hit a road crossing. If you go left, if you go that way, it'll take you to the Mohican Center. We're gonna head up that way, back on the trail. I just hit nine miles. Been going up this trail here for a little over half a mile. We're on our way to the Catfish Fire Tower. And then from there, we're gonna go to the Fountain of Youth. Ooh, little froggy. And then on my way back, we'll find a camping spot and then make the trek back tomorrow morning. I just took a break. I came to this super cool lookout. Thought I'd show you. Still have a few more miles to go for the day. I'm looking forward to setting up camp and eating some dinner later, getting my pack off and just relaxing for the rest of the night before I head back tomorrow. Wow, what a view this is. This part of the trail is great. Can't beat that. All right, we just came to a junction. Rattlesnake Trail is that way. They're gonna be hitting that tomorrow on the way back. And I'll head to Catfish Pond. And today we're gonna to keep on heading this way. Nice, we made it to the fire tower. We just passed the fire tower. There was a ranger up inside of it today, so we couldn't go up. We have about a little over a mile to get to the Fountain of Youth. We'll refill our water, take a little break, and then we'll turn around and start heading back and go set up camp. I saw a good campsite about a mile and a half back that we passed that I hope no one gets. It'll be a really good one. This is the first time since we started today that the trail does not have rocks on it so a little over 11 miles and pretty much the entire day has just been rocks 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 and more rocks my feet are beat up my legs are killing me but it's a great day so far Looks like we're heading left. Following those whites.
we're getting close to the road. The fountain of youth is right off the side of the road. Looking forward to getting some water. Sitting down for a little bit. Alright, we just made it to the road. I'm going to head this way and check out the Fountain of Youth. Shouldn't be too far up the road here. Epic. Made it. just filled our water up at the Fountain of Youth and now we are starting to trek back some. I'm going to try to find a campsite like two miles back. I saw some nice ones on the way here so hopefully no one took them. So so far we are at 12.21 miles five and a half hours. We made it to the Fountain of Youth and now we're going to start heading back and try to find a campsite. We are heading back up. I'm moving in slow-mo. Tired. I'm feeling it. back in the woods keep heading on up to that catfish fire tower we are back at the fire tower I'm at mile 13. We just left the catfish fire tower for the second time today. Heading back to the campsite. Give you one last look at the catfish fire tower. The sun is hot. The shade is nice. And my body is beat. Really looking forward to getting to camp, setting up camp, and chilling for the rest of the night. Only about another mile, and the trail's pretty level up here, so I needed that right now. Just when you feel like you're never going to get to the camp and it goes on forever and ever, you show up. And I am happy to be here.
perfect spot for camp tonight. So we are at camp, 13.7 miles today, a little over six hours. <clears throat> I am beat, ready to set up the hammock and cook some dinner. There's camp for the night. Have a great view. It's gonna be nice waking up to this in the morning. Just got into bed. It's around nine o'clock. Well, bed, I should say the hammock. It is super comfortable. The weather is incredible out today. And right now, I don't even really need a blanket or anything. I'm exhausted. Body was beat today. I did have a good dinner and some water. So tomorrow should be a good day. I have around 10 miles to get back to the car. We're gonna fill up on some water um, at the creek a little bit down the, the trail. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is my first overnight and I'm loving it so far. Watching the sun go down was pretty epic. And I'm really looking forward to watching the sun come up tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning everyone. It is day two. It's early, it's about 5.30. I'm watching the sun come up. I slept pretty good. It got really cold last night. We're gonna pack up camp in a little bit and start heading back to the car. We have roughly about 10 miles today.
It's day two. I'm just sitting here watching the sunrise. I had a great campsite last night. I have a little fire going. The view out there is incredible. I'm gonna start packing up camp in a little bit and hit the trail. I am almost out of water, so I have about two miles until the next stream. I think when I get there, I'm gonna try to eat some breakfast and fill up all my water bottles and stuff. Get one last view before we hit the trail. We are leaving camp, about to hit the trails and start heading back to the car. We have another long day today, roughly about 10 miles. Need to get some water. So we'll go up this way a little bit. And when we get to the water, we'll have some breakfast. Wow, what a view. So we camped super close to this trailhead here. It is Rattlesnake Trail. We're gonna take this and we're gonna check it out. Hopefully we'll see a rattlesnake. That'll be kind of cool. This is going to take us to Catfish Pond. And then after that, we'll get some water and eat some breakfast. It's starting to get hot already. It's only like 6 o'clock in the morning. Still making our way down that rattlesnake trail. Heading to the Mohican Center where Catfish Pond is. We'll check that out and we'll walk through there. Then we'll get some breakfast. It's nice going down, even though I know I have a big climb coming up in a little bit. Nowhere near as bad as yesterday, though. But I'm also more tired. a nice change of pace 
since the entire trip I felt like I've been on rocks. Ooh. Rattlesnake Swamp Trail. Looks like that's the main lodge. The AMC Mohican Outdoor Center. I'm just leaving the AMC Mohican Center, heading back toward the trail. I'm gonna hop on the Appalachian Trail for a few miles and head back to Sunfish Pond. And then from there, probably take the Dunfield Creek Trail back to the car. It's one of my favorites here. There's not many options getting back to the car and the Appalachian Trail itself isn't the greatest. So probably when I get there, I'll take the Dunfield Creek Trail. It's a nice way to end this trip. This has definitely been a fun first overnight trip. A lot of miles, way more than I'm used to. I still have a lot more to go. And I'm looking forward to the next one. go into the woods. Yesterday we came out here and we went up that way and today we're going to come over here and take a little break and have some breakfast. Breakfast of Champions. Can never go wrong with some ramen at 8 a.m.
We just left breakfast and we are about to start our way up this mountain, heading to Sunfish Pond. I know we have a decent climb ahead of us before we get there. Well, this section looks fun. Another up. I think we're making our way to the top of this ridge up here. It's hot out already. It feels nice in the shade. We're a little over 16 miles. The trail's super rocky, but it kind of leveled off. Not much up it right at the moment. Just trekking along. I have a lot of miles still left to do. Wow, what a view. This section of the trail has some really nice views that opens up. Look at that. Beautiful day out. Still trekking along, making our way to Sunfish Pond. in progress. That's where we are. And we have to go all the way back to there. That's where we parked. We're almost there. Making our way to the large pile of rocks. getting close to the car once we get around this pond we'll have about four miles left
still making our way around Sunfish Pond. We're almost back to the beginning of it. We are at the end of Sunfish Pond. We are leaving Sunfish Pond. Yesterday we came from there. Today we're gonna go this way and take the Dunfield Creek Trail back. Just in case I need water along the way, I'm running a little low. At least I'll now be able to get some. The start of Dunfield Creek. One of my favorite trails here. Look at that guy. It's a big one. We just hit 21 miles. Still on the Dunfield Creek Trail. Making our way to the creek. We didn't hit it yet. We're almost there. A few more miles and back to the car. Looking forward to getting my shoes off. I'm getting this bag off. And getting some food. I usually stop here, but I don't need to today. I'm just gonna keep on going. We're making our way down. I like the sound of that way better than making our way up. I am beat. And we're about to hit the waterfall, which is a good sight to the ending of this trip. I'm glad I'm not going up this right now. Nice way to end the trip.
Papa. Even the puppy. We just left the waterfall. We are almost back at the car. 23.75 miles right now. Looking forward to getting my shoes off and getting this pack off and getting some food. I'm starving. We're almost back at the car. Yesterday we went up that way, the Appalachian Trail. And we just met back up with it. And we have a quarter mile maybe back to the car and then we're done. We're almost there. Uh, There you go, 24.36 miles. That is my trip that I did, for me planning it out. The lot, the sunfish pond, to the Mohican catfish pond, to the tower, and then to the fountain of youth. And then we backtracked and we are at the car. So we made it. We are back at the car, a little over 24 miles. I am beat. It was a fun first adventure for an overnight. And I'm looking forward to the next one. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button to find out 